the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to the Eucharist once again, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, the 24th of March, uh, is the feast of St. Oscar Romero. Not much known over here. He was an archbishop in, in uh, San Salvador, the country of El Salvador, and the uh, country of San Salvador, city of El Salvador. And he is uh, uh, revered as somebody who was, who was martyred. He was shot during mass uh, for protecting, he was speaking for human rights. And so the international, the UNO has declared it as the International Day uh, for the protection, what did they say? The United Nations, International Day for the Right to the Truth concerning hu gross human rights violations and for the dignity of his victims. So because of his protection of human rights, the United Nations honored him. Let's pray also that in our own country also, in our own societies and in the world, human rights are always protected. Let's begin the sacrifice, putting ourselves in God's presence and asking his forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O Lord, the hardened hearts of people who violate human rights. And as we remember St. Oscar Romero, whose life became an oblation at your altar, may bring genuine repentance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Can you sit for the readings? A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this command I gave my people, obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk in all the way that I command you, that it may be well with you. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked in their own counsels and the stubbornness of their evil hearts and went backwards and not forwards. For the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have persistently sent all my servants, the prophets to them day after day. Yet they did not listen to me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did worse than the fathers so you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them, This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts altogether. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come into his presence giving thanks. Let us hail him with a song of praise. Our response, O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Harden not your hearts. O come, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. 
for he is our god and we the people who belong to his pasture the flock that is led by his hand our response oh that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts oh that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts as at meriba as on that day at massa in the desert when your forebearers put me to the test when they tried me though they saw my work our response o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts kindly stand for the gospel glory and praise to you o christ glory and praise to you o christ even now declares the lord return to me with all your heart for i am gracious and merciful glory and praise to you o christ the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord at that time jesus was casting out a demon that was mute when the demon had gone out the mute man spoke and the people marveled but some of them said he casts out demons by beelzebul the prince of demons while others to test him kept seeking from him a sign from heaven but he knowing their thoughts said to them every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste and a divided household falls and if satan also is divided against himself how will his kingdom stand for you say that i cast out demons by beelzebul if i cast out demons by beelzebul by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they will be your judges but if it is by the finger of god that i cast out demons then the kingdom of god has come upon you when a strong man fully armed guards his own place his goods are safe but when one stronger than him attacks him and overcomes him he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil whoever is not with me is against me whoever does not gather with me scatters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel, uh, Jesus speaks, works a miracle. They criticize him, and then he speaks of uh, how the absurdness of what they are talking. First reading, we have the prophet Jeremiah uh, upbraiding the people because they do not be be observe, do not believe what he says, do not follow the commandments. They Uh, continuously are uh, challenging god following false gods and then you have the stories of the ups and downs of the people of israel in the gospel jesus once again exposes the pharisees his critics for what they are doing he cast works miracles gives signs and yet they say uh, they don't dispute the miracle he was a clear miracle he had worked but they say oh uh, he is not obeying the law he is really doing all this with the power of satan and jesus very cleverly and very uh, rightly says uh, can if sat how can satan work against himself i am casting out demons how can the demon help me to cast out demons kingdom cannot be divided against itself and he says there were many people at the, at the time of jesus who also were uh, with the different formula etc were trying to cast out demons and jesus says now you're saying i am casting out demons with the power of demon what about your own uh, sorcerers and those who also uh, do similar things are they also guilty of collaborating with the devil he who is not with me is against me 
And so we make a choice, my sisters and brothers, this, that's what Jesus wants us to do. Make a choice to be with Jesus or just stay on the sidelines, not trying to spread his kingdom. All of us are called to be messengers of the gospel, bearers of the gospel. As Oscar Romero strongly was, the one whose feast we celebrate today on the International Day of Truth for gross human right violations and for the victim's uh, dignity. Uh, Oscar Romero, uh, he, was, uh, he was killed on the 24th of March, assassinated 1980. He was saying mass. He studied at the Gregorian ascetical theology. He came to this diocese as a priest, young priest, and teaching theology. And uh, he was very much shocked when one of his companions, a group of Jesuit priests were assassinated by uh, the army. Uh, that was a country that was very, very violent. And the army took over the control. And uh, Oscar Romero consistently spoke of human rights, rights of the people. What the army was doing was wrong. And uh, they should observe God. And he called the people also uh, to be uh, aware of their rights, aware that the, they were being uh, exploited, robbed. And finally, the, his talks began being broadcast on the radio uh, all over the place. It became very popular. And uh, the military thought that he was a threat to them. And so finally, one day, when he was saying Mass in a hospital chapel, they came over there. And during the Mass, while he was saying Mass in his vestments, they came and shot him dead. Uh, it, was, it really created a big stir all over South America. It was an archbishop, a big stir and uh, big outcry you know, internationally. I still remember that occasion. I was a young priest at the time. And uh, gradually, the United Nations recognized it. Uh, people were uh, uh, arrested. But, and he became really uh, somebody who had given his life for preaching the gospel. We pray to Oscar Romero to help us also to be conscious of the rights of weak people. All of us who are disciples of Jesus, should always care for the poor, the weak, the suffering, the oppressed. That's what we need in all our societies, no, where, no matter where we are. God bless each one of you. May we continue to be disciples of Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through goodness of this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which we offer as we remember St. Oscar Romero, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with things of this passing world as to hold rather to things that are eternally enduring. 
So with all the angels and saints, we praise you. Without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you feel as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Oscar Romero, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be questioned on a life, praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us be with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are, are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. O Lord, May the mysteries we have received when we honor St. Oscar Romero bring us heavenly medicine to purge all evil against human dignity and justice. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow is the 25th of March, Annunciation, and uh, I'll say Mass also. Uh, and we, the Holy Father has invited all of us to pray for peace in Ukraine. Uh, consistently we pray for peace in Ukraine today, tomorrow in a very special way and we also consecrate to the Russia and Ukraine, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and all of us, India and the world. Uh, I'll uh, say Mass in the morning. At 9.30 in the night we'll have a, a live streaming of the uh, prayer service we'll have uh, which is also for peace in Ukraine as requested by the Holy Father. Will be a small, a few people over here in the cathedral, but you can join me at 9:30 uh, tomorrow evening. Let us pray. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that this, since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass in it, let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you 
for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Where to 